Tony Scaponi playing Burn? No way, dude. Alright, Tony Scaponi here, and we're going to be playing some Burn, baby. Burn, baby, burn. So, <clears throat> fun fact, I've pretty much always, uh, obviously lately, past few years, I've really been focused on, on Storm, but uh, through, like, growing up and even just playing Legacy in uh, high school and through college and off and on here and there, uh, I always had uh, a Burn deck, and I always would like go back to it and optimize and it just it was nice to have like an optimized uh burn deck kind of in your back pocket um i think it has overall gotten worse over the years but um the last time i played burn was actually just whipping up some modern burn um after seeing spike uh playing darcy and uh, some baubles of course in legacy we have access to eight baubles um and what reminded me of kind of that style is seeing so crucible of words is uh another youtuber uh good dude good content and uh, it piqued my interest just seeing a new burn list uh he had said that a burn list 5 would and i have large problems with the burn list of course he just took a 5 would list so i wouldn't say it's him specifically uh who who built this but i have a lot of issues with uh the build it was running four barbarian rings uh, of course, with the eight baubles, we've gone down to 15 lands, which is fine. But four barbarian rings is insane if you're running four fire blasts. It only has four mountains, so you could only cast two fire blasts, uh, which is probably the amount that you're going to be casting anyways. But uh, you're just oftentimes not going to be running into... You're going to have fire blasts in your hand that you can't cast. I think that's crazy. Um, I think four price of progress is optimistic. Uh, I think it's an inconsistent card. Uh, I do like having access to it, uh, but other than that, it's pretty standard. So, uh, what I've gone and done is a couple different things. One, I fixed the mana base, uh, or at least I think, so that's what, five, six, seven, eight fetches, six mountains, and I'm playing one Fiery Islet. The good thing about Fiery Islet, as opposed to Barbarian Rings, it does draw you into uh, these mountains, so you're not going to get as stuck with these Fire Blasts as you normally would, and uh, it's a little bit of action uh, as opposed to land, and oftentimes just going to be land when you actually need it. So, although a Barbarian Ring is fine, but I think any any more than just, like, one of these, if you're running four Fire Blast, I think is... would be not optimal. Um, but I like the Eight Baubles, I like the Darcy. I know Darcy and Baubles is really good, especially with fetches. You get a lot of... one of the big things with burn is you just... you don't have the selection, right? So you've, you've drawn to too many mountains when you need burn, you need that last bolt, you can't find it. Uh, you're just drawing lands, or your openers have too many lands, or too few lands. There's no selection, right? So, fetches, of course, they thin your deck over time, which isn't that relevant of a thing. But over time, it can be, especially when you're filtering in other ways as well. Um, the more looks that you get, the more relevant your deck thinning is. So, you know, it compounds a bit. Um, every bit can certainly count. But the obvious synergy, a bobble with fetch, you get kind of a free scry. Uh, and then, of course, with Darcy. So it is going to smooth out the draws a lot. And I think Darcy is what kind of put this over the edge, being able to do this sort of thing. Uh, with the eight bobbles, the fetch lands should be able to get Delirium rather quickly. Um, we're off Eidolon. It is in the sideboard because I do think it's a bit pretty good card for a lot of different matchups but otherwise we just have all the bolts including skew the critics i'm running two right now with a split of price of progress um and then i always like to play i usually i used to play two spirit guides and 18 mountains um of course this is going to be a little bit different with the baubles but 
Uh, I'm not like thrilled to have this in my main deck, but I don't want to take up a slide, sideboard slot. It's mostly so that post board, uh, you can cast Eidolon on turn one, which can be can be pretty important. I just think it's uh, it's oftentimes going to serve you better than a land because you can be more explosive. And then later on off the top, it's just the two two instead of a mountain that doesn't actually do anything. So. Other than that, and you could, like, in with this sort of thing, you can play Petal, you can play Rite of Flame. These are options that have, obviously, synergies with uh, Swift Spear, Darcy, uh, that sort of thing. I opt for the Spirit Guide because I think being able to cast the 2-2 has more value. Being able to pay for dazes um, in a sneaky way has value. So maybe it's past its prime. Maybe we shouldn't be doing this. Maybe it should only be alongside the Eidolons in the sideboard. Um, in fact, now that I'm thinking of it, the reason I used to always do this was primarily so that was for Eidolon and not running Eidolon in the main deck. Um, I think maybe makes it a little bit suspect, and especially with the Darcy's, I think I actually take it back that if you were to do this sort of thing, you would want... Uh, really, you'd probably just want the Petal, because that's good with better with Darcy and, and Swift Spear. Um, so I'm actually just going to cut these and just bring up another skewer, um, and then we can go back to the fourth smash. Searing Blaze is also an option, but at least on its face, my theory here is that any Searing Blaze matchup, we're going to beat them anyways. If that's not the case, if you wind up losing to decks that you would want Searing Blaze, then that is a way to change things. It, similar to Price of Progress, is kind of a um, risky card, because if it's not good, it's kind of blank cardboard. Um, so I do, generally speaking, like to opt for just the most efficient, um, just straight-up burn that doesn't have variants attached to it. We already have the variants of not having selection. We're trying to mitigate that by bringing in selection uh, to what otherwise is a deck that... Uh, Traditionally, doesn't have that selection, so hopefully that that bodes well for us. Sideboard, uh, obviously, we're pretty bad against fast graveyard decks, so we have ley lines, uh, smash to deal with, chalice of the void, eidolon to deal with, uh, various storm decks and eight casts, stuff like that, and traps to to help us with with combo decks as well. Because that's kind of the, the soft spot of Burn, of course. It's just the combo decks that go faster, because we are essentially a combo deck. Um, uh, fun fact, when I bought back into Legacy in 2017, uh, I bought Burn because it was a quick and cheap way to get back into the format and kind of dust off the cobwebs and rack up some some points at uh, my LGS. And I wound up going 18-4 and four, um, before I moved on to uh, start playing Blue Red Delver. But... I absolutely crushed with with Burn. It was back in the Death Rite Shaman era when there was like Grixis Delver and the original check pile lists, and uh, it was pretty good in that meta. So I must say, uh, but that's about it. I mean, Burn is pretty straightforward. It's not like groundbreaking uh, changes, but it is a fundamental change, like changing the land count significantly, moving into Bobbles selection. These are. Um, I guess in comparison to how Burn just really hasn't changed at all over the past years, it is, I guess you could say, a groundbreaking Burn um, uh, deck theory change, right? So I'm excited about it. I love playing Burn. I think it makes for, um, not always, but sometimes very interesting games. And it's, sim it's a similar deck to, um, you know, people say like, Oh, Tron in Modern is a is you know an easy sauce deck. You don't have to think or sneak and show or you know mono red prison and like all these decks. You make these jokes that they're they're mindless and it's never actually true. Like all of those decks have very um, meaningful, complicated, and uh, varied decision points, trees, and difficulties that uh, can easily separate you know, bad players from good, good players from great, that sort of thing. And I don't think Burn is uh, an exception to that true notion, in my opinion, at least. So I'm going to shut up. We're going to play.
We're going to burn some faces. See you in round one. All right, here we are, round one. We have three lands. We have two redraws and two effectively bolts. Uh, I'm not in love with this hand. But I don't think we're supposed to throw it back. We have so few lands in our deck that I think we're going to be drawing into gas. We're hoping to draw into a creature, of course. Uh, generally speaking, I do not want to see City into Grim Monolith into LED. <laughs> All right, looks like we're playing against either the Epic Gam uh, It's either the Epic Gamble or it's um, Mystic Forge combo. Oh, that was a good draw. That is the type of creature that we are looking for here. Go Bobble. Um, I, mean, I do want Bolts. Let's think about this. We want to kill them as fast as possible. The thing about Rift Bolt is it is going to take two more turns. And I think I'm supposed to bottom it. Let's see if we get some more information here. That's a Karn. These Bobbles don't work. Uh, that one I think I'm fine with. Might as well wait on the activation. We'll pass it over. We're going to have to deal with Karn. We do have a lot of Bolts though, which is nice. Artifacts, sorcery, we're gonna have instant, we're gonna find a land or a creature to get into our graveyard. They have so much mana. It's possible I shouldn't use bubbles at all until their turn, because they might just wind up echoing us. It's a saga. Here comes Karn, or is it a ring? I mean, they can Karn lattice us if they want. Um, what if we can. Oh no, I didn't use the bobble! I was talking and not paying attention. Hmm. I mean, we would have had to have flipped Darcy, which is going to be really tough with Karn Lattice. We drew another bobble, which I guess isn't even necessarily bad, right? Um, so we would have drawn into this Goblin Guide, so it's actually good that we didn't draw the bobble, but... We're still one away. We still need land or instant. Basically, we have to draw Fire Blast. I think that can get us out of this. Potentially. They make a 6-6. Six, six. Hold it back. Come on, Fire Blast. There's a progress. Okay. Pass it over. If we get Fire Blast, we can kill the Karn and get ourselves out of this. So manifold key to get more mana. Another monolith. Go get ballista. Kill Darcy. Alright. Again, we need fire blast. We hit it. And we can't use these first. Alright, so let's kill Karn. Let's they have like no mana either. Are we killing Ballista? Let's see what they're drawing. They're drawing a grid. That doesn't help them. We're drawing Rift Bolt. Um, I'm going to spike them. Decide what to do about this Walking Ballista a bit later. They don't currently have a way to make mana. And we do. Goblin Guide might be a little bit risky. Mm, I think it's still probably correct, though. Emrakul, okay. That's not going to help them. They're getting in for one. Land? Okay. Let's go Goblin Guide. Give them an Ancient Tomb. That's not good. Still think we keep bolting their face, basically. I'm just going to suspend Rift Bolt. Okay. Tomb. We get some mana. If they drew into another car, and we are in trouble. Well, they're just making Ballista bigger. Interesting. They're getting in for two. All right. I'm going right to their face with this one. I think we are winning this race. Another bolt. Let's attack. And we'll give them another Ancient Tomb, which really they can't at this point use. Alright, so they're going to kill the Goblin Guide. That makes sense. Let's suspend another Rift Bolt. Two Ancient Tombs. Oh, there's a Petal. Okay. Need to rift bolt their face. Land. Excellent. Let's go lava spike. 
Let's go skewer. Wow, came back with that one. Drew that fire blast. Okay, so smash is obviously pretty good here. Trap is not bad. Now there's ley line. I'm not sure that I want them. I mean, honestly, all these cards are potentially good. Just want to be able to get out of Karn. Trap will often counter a Karn. If we play Trap and use it or reveal it, we can't really play it the next game. But we could play it this game. We could like trim a Fire Blast. Trim some Bobbles. Do I want Trap? I don't think I do. Put a Bobble back in and actually just trim a couple. No, you know what? I like that. And I'm going to keep Fire Blast. It's good against Karn. Just run it like this. Classic one lander. Hmm. Huh. Classic one lander more on 15 lands, so I don't I don't think you're supposed to keep one landers with this build. It's like the classic burn thing, right? Keeping a one lander in the draw, hoping you have a land on the top two. It's 14. It's like just above a 25% chance. 225. It's below 50% to hit a land by the Second draw, so... Uh, on six? On six with a smash in a similar spot, I think we do keep this. Obviously I'm not happy about it, but... Here we are. Ancient Tomb Go, interesting. And the question is, if there's a land on top, do I fetch? I'm just gonna hope there isn't a land on top, so that I do fetch, okay. There's the mountain. We are going to go with Goblin Guide. And we're going to get in. Defense Grid, okay. I'd imagine a Karn is probably incoming. One Ring, okay. Rift Bolt is pretty good against the One Ring, huh? Okay, so Mountain was good. We can't smash the thing. It is indestructible. Uh, smash is still going to be good. But let's suspend and pass. Not really much else to do. Take one from the One Ring. I'm going to draw. I'm going to play another Ancient Tomb. Six mana. Down to eleven. Paradox Engine. Wow. Um, no key, no key, no key. Oh, That's a key. Now I'm wishing I held up Smash. Oh, that's a pedal. Right, I think we're in trouble. <laughs> they haven't even used the key yet. Playing another key. Drawing more cards. No way. Passing? Holy crap, they're passing. Um, I think they're dead. We do have lethal. And they're gonna get hit by the one ring. <coughs> so, I think we got them. Get you for three. Chain you for three. <laughs> Alright, we're one and oh, see you round two. All right, here we are, round two against Denounce. We have won the die roll, which is a good thing for this deck, of course. No lander, so we're going to have the mulligan. All right, we'll put a mountain back. Let's go for the goblin guide. I will keep the fetch. It does, of course, shuffle the mountain back in, but then we're taking one out, and it could potentially help for Delirium. It opens on seven. I will start with mountain. These will bobble. Reanimate, that is not good news. Hopefully it's a fair reanimate deck. Not actual reanimator. Castle Lockthwain. Okay, so that is the case. I'm going to draw off of Bobble. Alright, bolts are good. Two mountains, bunch of bolts. That may very well be a recipe for success here. They're moving to clean up. Ooh. Okay. Not a good draw. If they have to reanimate it, we may very well get there. Let's get in with the GG. GG hits a pedal. Let's spike you. Right, we didn't get oppo agented. And let's suspend. Okay. Swamp cycle. So they cannot reanimate Atraxa. Or rather, they can, but they will die if they do. They did. Um, or I suppose if they discard us, yeah. We can't use this bolt, so classic burn situation where if you draw a bolt, you win. If you don't, you lose. Bolt or fire blast. 
It's probably about half our deck. Bobble gives us a redraw to draw exactly Bolt. Yep, they're going to grief us. Take the Bolt. And Karn. What is this mashup? So it's a grief reanimate deck. Do they also play in Tomb? Like, why are they playing Atraxa? Other than the off chance that your opponent plays Goblin Guide, draws you into a land, allows you to go to discard. <laughs> they have Karns. I don't entirely get it. But here we are. Let's draw a bolt. Come on, baby. That is not quite a bolt. So they're going to gain 7, go to 10. We could, at best, then next turn, do 4, draw Fire Blast, 8. So we are losing that race. We can move on. Okay. It's kind of awkward. I mean, I'm still not even sure that we want Leyline. I don't think we do. Playing Karn? I don't think they're playing in Tomb. I'm just going to run it back. Okay. We will keep. Hopefully we can find another land. Let's go Bobble. Not a land. Get a mountain. Get a GG. And get in there. Dark Ritual on top. That is scary. Come on, Mountain. Excellent. Swamp. Grief Pitching Archon. Okay. It's a weird deck. Took a Bolt. A ritual. And tomb. Bring back Atraxa. Down to 11. Oh, we can put him to 1. <coughs> <coughs> we can put them to 1. Um, so we're going to have to kill it. But... Oh, no, they're going to be able to grief us. All right, they got us. So they are a more dedicated reanimator deck. Oppo, it's just awkward. It just has, like, some random fair stuff in it. I just feel like oftentimes you're going to be drawing, like, one half of the deck. Like, it's an A, B, plus random fair stuff combo. So let's say the random fair stuff is C. If you have A plus C, it doesn't really help. If you have B plus C, it doesn't really help. I don't know. Weird. I feel like actual reanimator or actual mono black is just going to be better than this. Either way, anything that is going to manage to put an attraction on the battlefield, we're uh, very likely to lose that game. So there we are, one and one. See you in round three. Okay, here we are, round three against Bryant. Well, so just a little bit of context here. Um... We have just seen today, recording this now, today, that Mind's Desire got unbanned, but I'm in the middle of this league. So it's pretty ironic that in the middle of a burn league that I'm going to try and whip through now because I really want to go test Mind's Desire, um, play against Bryant. <laughs> so I'm sure he's probably testing it. Okay. We will keep. All right, so we're going to play Swiss Spear first. I do think the Prowess Trigger is more valuable than the Scry. We could wait on the Bobble until we have the Scry. I think I will, actually. Then I can effectively get both. <laughs> uh, Bryant is so unhappy that this is occurring right now. <laughs> Just the last thing he would have expected. Chromebox. Watch, we're just going to get wrecked by Mind's Desire. Pedal. Bobble. Bobble. Notice the big old relay. So if we use Bobble, we give ourselves the best chance at drawing into um, Fire Blast. Or we can hold on to it for a scry. One, two, three, four. All they have to do is make three mana on four draws. Yeah, I think I'd rather just have a better chance at drawing into Fire Blast. Right a flame on top. There's one mana for him. So we just want to do as much damage as possible. Also a chance of drawing into a burn spell that actually hits them this turn. Goblin Guide. We know that won't draw him a card. At least it's good for two damage. Yep, they get to see both draws. Darcy is not going to help us here. So 
we're just going to go GG into Spike. Just deal as much as we can. Now, it is unfortunate because that is definitely not the optimal thing to do to kill them as soon as possible. It's the most optimal thing to do as much damage as possible that turn. Uh, because more than likely they're going to add nos here. They're certainly pressured to do so. So we just want to make it the worst add nos possible. So I'm not going to entirely up 6 because I want them to have to respect Fire Blast. But honestly, odds are they're going to have to play into Fire Blast. So it's not really going to be much of a bluff. Odds are they're not going to wind up winning from s with 6 life. Ooh, there's a desire. <laughs> So they probably have one of these in the main deck, and they just immediately hit it and get punished. <laughs> uh, that's great. That's great. Okay, so Eidolon is in. Trap is in. Um, Let's see. I mean, I think I'm going to keep Darcy and Bobbles. It can give us additional chances to be able to draw into Mind Break Trap. Rip Bolt is not ideal. Price of progress is probably not going to be great. And definitely don't want to overload on Darcy, I think. You can find trimming one. Let's try this. Definitely hoping to have a trap in the opener. I don't think I mentioned in the deck tech, I mean, I, I mentioned a bit of my background with burn, but I, I have, like, thousands of matches of burn under my belt, probably, at this point. Um, okay, so... I mean, we have to keep the idol on... They mold to five, so that's good. So this Eidolon with chances to draw into a trap, basically. And they could just have something going here. Yep. Or they're just playing around trap. It's another Eidolon, so that's good. Bobble herself. Goblin Guide. Yeah, I don't think I want that. Go right ahead and chain lightning them. Pass it over, hope we draw a trap. <laughs> Did not. Uh, they have to go for it now. Honestly, they probably will. Yep, that's an Adnaz. Right around Mind Break Trap. Which we don't have anyways. Adnaz, eh, it's already pretty bad. Pedal's good for them. Oh yeah. So this is obviously very good for us. I think he's forced to keep going as well. Bobble's good for him. They only have two mana, so... That's three mana. I mean, if they hit an LED, they win. Or they could brainstorm and hope to hit LED off the top three. It's probably just doing some rough, you know, mathematical calculations. What are the odds that I hit a two or three drop and die? As opposed to three looks at LED. You already used two LEDs, so there's only two out of 37. Ooh, still one mana shy, I think. Although now, if Brainstorm hits Ritual, then he's good. One, two, Bobble. Yeah, I only, only see five mana. And yep, he's going to go for Brainstorm. So, cards that would get there for him here is another rit Dark Ritual, two Rite of Flames, a Lion's Eye Diamond, um, multiple Petals or Opals, Basically, the Brainstorm has to plus two mana for him. And it looks like it did. So Wishclaw. Could use it for a Shuffle. To get another Brainstorm. Or if he drew into another Brainstorm, like, use it for a Shuffle, get LED. I don't think he found plus two mana off the Brainstorm, otherwise he would have just slammed his cards, burning Wish Tendrils. He might just be going for an Echo now. He has enough for Echo. We get LED from that. Cast Burning Wish. Nope. Shuffle effect. Brainstorm again. I mean, honestly, it's probably better odds than Echo with no mana floating, no land drop. Yep. We got there, though. GG's. All right. See you in the next round. All right. Here we are in round four. With an aggressive hand. I like it. I'll keep. Don't you dare. Oh. Didn't see that coming. It's painter? It is. Okay. I'll save the tarn in case we draw a bobble. If we play painter, I won't be able to kill it with Rift Bolt. Next turn, 
I'm still just going to go for max damage here. I'm not so sure telegraphing a Rift Bolt is really going to get there. We did draw them into a land. Fable action. Another GG. Okay. Let's play another guide. Get in. Give them another land. Reanimate. Wow. Well, that one's probably not good for them. It's a cool mountain. Alright, put them to 12. Concurrently put them to 5. And 6. Yeah, we'll suspend Rift Bolt. And they have to kill us right now. If only we had Lightning Bolts, we could kill them in the upkeep. Like if they milled us. Discarding an Oliphant and a Red Blast. So they need Painter plus 2 mana. We have 13 burn coming at them, even without a draw step and without connecting with Goblin Guide. I think we're heavily favored. Goblin Engineer. Getting Painter. No pedal. Not able to reanimate. This is a blocker, but it doesn't matter. They're going to Rift Bolt your face. Going to Spike you. Spike you. Fire Blast you. You're dead. Okay. Eidolon's interesting. Smash is very good. Leyline is probably not good enough. Trap is probably not good enough. It's probably just Smash. Price is good. I don't think if we were playing for, I don't think I would want to, want to play for. Hmm. I don't think I mind cutting a land on the draw. Maybe Goblin Guy just isn't great. They can trade with it pretty easily. And it draws them a bunch of cards. Yeah, so maybe I'm just supposed to straight up swap like that. The thing about Smash is it does cost two. So we're becoming less efficient. Trim a skewer. I'll just cut the Goblin Guides. Yeah, let's try this. Hmm. Sand is certainly on the lower end. I fear we're going to have to use Chain Lightning on, like, a Painter, and then we're just going to have such an anemic draw afterwards. I'm going to mulligan. This is so much better. Let's keep... I'm going to just cut the spike. Because I think in this matchup, and especially on the draw, you're just going to be forced to interact. So again, Lava Spike, I, you know, I want the card that's going to do lasting damage and give us more looks. And then the card that will draw us into the second land and give us a free scry so that we can utilize smash. Spellbomb. Interesting. Price is not bad. Darcy. Bobble. Mm. It could be really good if we have another land. So all the scrying would be great, but I'm going to bet it. Just activate and pass. Draw Rift Bolt. Definitely need to see a land. Fable is annoying. Hmm. I'm going to kill this for a couple of reasons. One, I want the scry so that we can get closer to a land. Two, so that I can make Darcy a 3-3. Three, three. And three, because they are a red deck, so I don't want them to be able to bounce the Chain Lightning back at us. Let's Now let's see if they'll save some damage and not draw a card from the spell bomb. They did. Interesting play. Probably correct. Uh, I would say we are not favored from this spot. Unless we have a land on top of our deck, then we probably are. Saga, there's Painter. So now Blast is live. Honestly, I think I'm just bolting Painter in upkeep, hoping that we hit another land so we can cast Rift Bolt. Hobble. It guarantees that we don't hit a land this turn, but it gives us an extra potential look overall. Which I'm not going to take. Yep, there's the blast. Land. Just another bobble anyways. There's the mountain. Might be too late. Might be dead here. I have three cards. The braid Darcy. Okay. Tagging for one. We have no blast up. We can try and make them commit. Or we can just kill Painter now. I think we're forced to just kill Painter now. Because even if they don't have a blast, if they draw into one and they play a lot of blasts, it'd be catastrophic. But the upside would have been great. 
them getting grindstone and activating grindstone. Although then you're in that spot where you just can't tap out for smash, otherwise they do it in, in response. Do you have another smash for that? Mountain cycling. Equip. Well, I paid two life for that. So it's kind of a watch. You go ahead and what, get another painter. You can start activating with reflection. Although they may opt to attack instead. Vaccine Dragon Engine. Another Rift Bolt. Could just kill Engineer. They only have one card. We would allow them to gain life again. Or we can kill Reflection. I think we have to kill Engineer. Which is definitely a shame. So they're going to gain three again. And they have two cards. Pretty close to unearthing this. We're getting in for three, gaining three. It's pretty bad for us. Another Fable. Okay. Huh. I think we kill Shadow Spear. The attack stop. They're smart. They switch it over to the token, though. And then copy the token. Jeez, do we have to do it again? We have to Rift Bolt this again, and then let them get another hit with Shadow Spear? That's too much. I think we just have to hope that they don't move the Shadow Spear over. 11, 8, 4, 3... I mean, we're getting close to killing them. So even if they do move it over, we can just choose to kill the Shadow Spear in combat. Alright, they're just attacking with both. That's good for us. Now we can smash this. We got 11, they don't gain any life. They played another land, so they at least have to take one when we price progress. Use an Engineer. Two, four, so this is good for five. We have three coming. Rift Bolt. So eight, sorry, eight, three, they're dead. They're exactly dead. They go to eight. Nice progress. So they have six anyways. But it was whatever. They would have been at zero. Just barely got them. All right, on to the final round. We're three and one. Okay, here we are in the final round against Mach 1. We have a pretty decent hand. Um, yeah, we're on the draw. Sulfur Vent. Oh, this is, um, that Cascade deck. Mississippi River. Alright, let's go GG. Get in there. Let's see if we can race him. We can give him a land. I think this is a turn three, typically. It's all their cards have to be ridiculously high cost. So they have to make three land drops. Take tap land, tap land, soul land, get you. Could be wrong. I don't know how they get to a fifth, though. Yeah. Unfortunately, we're on the draw. So, I think we're dead next turn. Is there any use maxing out on damage? Although double bolt would have been max damage. No. Let's play out the dudes. There's creative technique. They do have to have a soul land. Our land that comes into play untapped. There it is. And looks like we're dead. Here we go. I don't think it can fizzle if it's correctly built. Uh, yeah, I'll cast it. Although, maybe they wind up dying to a burn. There's Emmy. Does it keep going or is that a. It, I'm pretty sure there's a fairly random nature to it. Could be wrong. Whoa. Oh. Okay, Aurora Phoenix. Another creative technique. This is wild. <laughs> okay. Sweet Gum Recluse. Right. Yeah, this card has Cascade, 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 Cascade. Just ridiculous. Three plus and plus in each of any number of tribe creatures that... Crazy... Another Aurora Phoenix, which also has Cascade. Sakashima also has Cascade. Another Sweet Gum. We've all got Haste. <laughs> uh, yeah. I think they got us. Not sure. I haven't done the math. Let's see. Let's let's get hit and see. What's it come out to here? Ooh, negative seventy-two. All right, they got us. <laughs> Game two incoming. Trap. And that's it. Price of progress. It's probably going to do like four damage. Maybe. 
but it's two mana. Not really sure we can beat this deck. Unless we draw trap. Hmm. This price progress is too expensive. And then trim a rift bolt. Let's try it. All right. Yes, I'd like to play first. Double trap. Nothing else. I mean, I guess we have to keep it, right? It's really bad. Uh, yep. Your turn. <laughs> God, can you imagine if we draw land? We get to do something? Can you imagine it? Let's get rid of Rift Bolt. We play a land and pass. We draw land. Mountain. Um, I guess we should probably get the high damage output out first. And give them a land. I don't think we've yet not given them a land. Not that they need that, but they might need the card underneath it. Now, I don't think this lines up perfectly. In fact, it may even line up poorly. Okay, they don't have the untapped land. That's what we needed last game. Oh, they did have it. Huh. I don't get it. All right, let's play Darcy. And let's get in for two. Look at that. Game another one. Really? Pyrokinesis. Okay. You got it. It's a graveyard creature. Land sorcery. This is not yet a 3 3. I mean, I'm sure they know we have trap, but it doesn't, you know, it's whatever. I mean, what do you have to think about? Either cast it or don't. I guess they can start like hard casting their outrageous spells. Here we go. Alright, so cast. And then it hits creative technique. Do not cast three spells. So demonstrate. We get to copy it. Okay. Get to play a bobble. They get another boarding party. Then they cascade. Now I think our trap is live. It is, so we can exile all this, two, three, and use Bobble, we'll have Delirium now. All right, so that did actually line up pretty well, and we got a free card out of it too. That's a good draw, that's a good draw. Cool, cool, cool. Let's get Mountain, let's get Darcy, let's get Bobble, GG. Here at 16, would I rather just have Burn? This could draw him a lot of cards. I think I'm, yeah, I'm going to put it away. I think we can do better. And then just suspend this one. Draw a card. And if they try to go off again, we do have another trap. And we have 12 damage coming. If we draw Fire Blast, we have Lethal. Jeez, maybe Price of Progress is better than I think. Does not look like they have more action, so that's good. Right, Rift Bolt you. Oh, it's a Fire Blast. Um, wait, we can do the same amount with Swift Spear, right? Yep. So the Swifty, Spectacle, Bottom that one, Yield, Get you 3, 6, 10, yep. Uh, unless they have Removal, then we get rid of our lands. So, you supposed to go for it? Let's go. Let's go. All right. Cool, cool, cool. Game three it is. This is for the 4 1. I want Price of Progress. It's only good after Trap and then with them having played more lands. Hmm. Maybe it's better than Goblin Guide. It's really bad to draw them lands. Let's try that. I think we just have to have Trap, right? Or at least like. Okay, I'm all the six, three baubles in her hand. Like, hopefully we draw into one, that sort of thing. But, ugh. Let's go to five. I think we keep this. Bottom GG. Mountain. And hope we can draw into a trap before they go off. Draw a card. Do I fit? Now, in case we draw Mishra's bobble, I want to have the, uh, scry. No trap. All right, let's bobble. Need that trap. Chain lightning. 
Okay. Trap. No trap. So, let's go chain lightning. And artifact sorcery. I have to put that one down. Alright, we have to hope they have a tap land. We could fire blast now. It would do potentially two things for us. One, give us delirium to do more damage. And two, draw us into trap where we otherwise wouldn't be able to for next turn. I think I'm supposed to. I don't have any two mana spells in our deck right now anyways. That gave us delirium. Well, fire blast itself gives delirium and we get rewarded if we're not dead and they have trap or and we have trap on the top of our library now. Come on, tap land. Tap land pass. It's not a tap land. Nothing's happening. Nothing's happening. Something about a book. Nothing's happening. Right, tapping to blue. Am I crazy or like, isn't like, in the deck just, just cast the card and let it go? Maybe there's more to it, I don't know. Alright, so now they get to do this. We get a free card. If it is, if the card is trap, that would be hilarious. Wait, what happened? Why didn't it? You may copy it. If you do, choose an opponent to also copy it. Okay, so you don't have to copy it? Why would you copy it? Be library, then reveal cards and top until you read a non land card. Exile that card, but the rest of them out of your library. Alright. So I think we're dead. 5 3. Hmm. Not necessarily. But they didn't want to copy it and take the chance of us like, hitting a trap or something. So. We can hit their Phoenix. Attack them for 3. I think we have to. Maybe cast the spell Cascade, return it to your hand. That's whatever. Let's kill that. Chain is fine. I can kill both their guys now. Interesting. They get a mountain. They have two, four. City's gonna die. I think they're a long ways away from like doing the thing. So there's not a flying. Do we win this race fight? Chain them. Win the seven. They put us to seven. Plus three more, they get a four. Put you to one. I miss on the draw. You put it, me to one. I win this race. Not if they have pyrokinesis. Okay. That card's scary. That's a trap. I think I keep that. Or maybe... So what they just did, did that play a round trap? If they don't copy this? It was technique into... No, I'm sorry, it was this into Technique, into Phoenix. So it did not play around Trap. I think I keep the Trap. Get in for three. This is a crazy game. Did not think we were in this. Okay. What are they doing with blue? Oh, they have a blue one. Rash Cascade, yikes. That goes to Hand, which is whatever. This is scary. I think we're dead. Does not have Flying. Ooh. They were in trouble. Well, they copied it, so... <gasps> we get to fire blast them. That's great. <laughs> um... You know, graveyard that one. Oh, they got a one! Arkinesis, okay. Now what? Boarding party, okay. That hits... Creative Technique again. Which they don't copy. Okay. All right, none of this is haste, or no, this is hasty, but that's okay. We're not dead. We have a draw. Or wait, you have made a copy of any permanent, so they put us to one? Oh man, this game is crazy. Come on off the top. Come on off the top. Oh no, we knew this one. Oh man. Or did we? No, we didn't know this one. Because it, it all gets shuffled and stuff, and you do the fire blast, and I put the bobble on the bottom. Yeah. Mach 1 says, hi, YouTube. <laughs> GG's. That was a wild league, but certainly a wild match. That was fun. That was a good way to end it. Okay. Um, Where'd we go? Okay, thoughts about the list? I mean, I, 
it has the same problems that burn is always going to have where uh it's difficult to beat combo decks we almost did there uh at the same time moto is kind of a a wild place to just like test things especially right now because now that that creative technique deck is going to be everywhere because they just opened that up mind's desire is going to be everywhere because that just got unbanned so not exactly a great environment for burn uh, but as far as just like the efficiency i think it's really good i think i think we're at the point where this card is not great in the main deck it is just too clunky i'm not even sure if it's necessarily the best thing for what it's for there's the enchantment that punishes zero drops that might overall be better i'm not sure although probably not since we're running bobbles maybe a moto i'm just supposed to have more trap tough to say i mean what do you go to three on right smash maybe keep the ley lines three smash is probably fine four trap is probably better as far as the main deck goes it felt really smooth um for the most part any of the one land openers, you're either going to have Bobbles, maybe even multiple Bobbles, or Darcy. Plus, just everything literally costs one except for two Price of Progress. So we can function better off of one landers than typical burn. I am really enjoying the low land count plus Bobble and Darcy. I think it's great. I think Barbarian Ring could be fine here. Four Barbarian Ring is just preposterous. I think even two non-mountain lands is not good. I could see playing more Price of Progress. I just I've played a lot of Price of Progress, and um, it's just so bad when it's bad. I think Skewer and Rift Bolt are just just much better cards. But I mean that's about it for me. I love Burn. I've always loved Burn. Uh, I've played so much Burn, and it's just a treat to play. Um, it's a really nice combination of like sometimes you just get to run them over, but sometimes very interesting decisions. We didn't have like a ton of those interesting decisions. Those usually come up against like control decks, uh, tempo, and not always even. So, but I had a ton of fun. Hope you enjoyed this, especially that last finale of a match. That was sweet. And uh, I'll see you in the next one.